Yo, what is up to be use? How you do's? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you watched the audio video, the video about budget microphones for video, um, one of the cameras or microphones, cameras that I recommended was the Zoom Q2N4K. And it just so happens that I got one now. So we're going to take a look at that and check it out and, you know, give you guys an example of what it sounds like, what it hears like, or wait, what it sounds like, what it looks like, what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying, Steve. Shut up. God. Anyway, first, we got something to do first. You know what we do first. You know. Do you know? You know. This dude knows. I mean... We're gonna dab us up a little bit of this Thin Mints. We're gonna dab up them Thin Mints, baby. Straight from Greenleaf Medical in Richmond, Virginia. Got the gravy, baby. Straight to my door every month. And we're going in, baby. We are going in. Let's get that gravy in. On into the Slurpy Turf. How you do? Mm-hmm. Cheers. <clears throat> Got a little bit of splash back. <clears throat> oh, 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 how you do? How you do? <clears throat> oh, fire. Sorry, my bottom's not spinning, but <laughs> whatever. Steve, God, slice it, slice, cut, cut, cut. We'll be right back, <laughs> Uncle Butt. So this is the camera that we are sort of replacing. Um, I'm probably going to repurpose this camera. Um, I might try to use it in place of a GoPro back there, right here. <laughs> I might put that camera right here just because, um, you know, with my little dude. It's a slightly better camera. You know, the GoPro's not super great, and uh, the, Q, the Q8, not super great. So I did get this secondhand on eBay. Um, I got a decent little deal for it, and, um, you know, I think it was like around 170 180 bucks, which is usually around the price I think 187 was the last sale price that I had seen for a brand new one. Um, but when the sales aren't going on and stuff, you know, I mean, that's a fair price. I think these are normally 220 at retail. Um, but yeah, we mentioned this on that video about microphones as one of the ones I recommend. And I recommend it because um, I've, I recommended it even though I didn't have one because... Um, I've used the ones I still own are the H2N, the H6. Um, I've also used the five, the or I used to have an H5. I've used the H4N, and obviously I still have the uh, Q8. Um, and Zoom makes great microphones and preamps for the price. Um, so you're not generally going to get a good audio recorder, much less, well, I mean, you can, with Zoom, you can get good audio recorders. There's a few good audio recorders on a budget, um, that are good, but when it comes to cameras, you're not going to get anywhere near this quality of video and audio anywhere else for under 200 bucks that I know of. Um, microphones on cameras generally suck. Bad. Not, not in the good ways at all, baby. Not in the good ways at all. So today we're going to open this up. We're going to check it out. 
This is supposed to come with a uh, 64 gigabyte memory card. Not, they don't come with that memory card normally when they're used. But again, you know, I got this second hand and it did list it as coming with the 64 gig uh, micro SD. So we got our, you know, usual, usual, usual instructions, little promo stuff. I like this. Um, when I buy something used second hand from somebody on eBay and they still have, you know, the original uh, instructions and packing and even got me a couple batteries up in here. Nice job. Nice job. So I don't know if he sent me new batteries or if these were uh, batteries that are have been partially used, but... Um, let me just check. I'm guessing they're alkaline. Yes, they are alkaline. Uh, yes, there's still places that sell non-alkaline batteries <laughs> in this day and age. Alkaline batteries is almost out the door, but <laughs> we got us a little lens hood. We got us the Q2. Man, that is small. That is the Q2 Info K. <laughs> Make sure we're not skipping over nothing. That's probably it. Yeah. All right, so let's get this all out on the table. Let's get this lens hood out. Most of the time, using this uh, camera 100-100 is going to be plugged in anyway. But uh, I've heard that this thing can really go through batteries. Uh, let's try something, which was one of my gripes about the Q8, is that uh, you can't have the lens hood on and put the protective cap on at the same time. Uh, let's see if I can do that on this one. I'm I doubt it. This thing is in pretty good shape. This thing is in some pretty good shape. Oh, no, no, I thought I had it there. There we go. There's a snap. All right, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the cap is not going to fit. No. Um, you know, I mean, again, for $200, and that's my other complaint um, about this design, is just that, you know, the H, or the Q2N and the Q2N 4K, um, both have these low resolution screens that are permanently fixed onto the back. So there's no swivel function or anything like that. Um, but again, for under $200, what you're getting. So, uh, so just so you can see the uh, back panel before we turn it on, um, I do like the simplicity of the design instead of having a touch screen that you know you've got individual buttons for things so all right uh oh let me show you the sides um, and i would have preferred a line out a separate line out jack than a headphone line out jack um but you know it it works and there is an external in right there then there is our HDMI, our USB, and our game control. Um, zero is obviously going to be way too quiet. I'm going to guesstimate right now between six. Yeah, I'm going to say six and a half. Yeah, uh, that looks good. Um, and then we got our, uh, what's it, one quarter inch, whatever, <laughs> tripod mount on the bottoms. And... Then there's our XY mics right there. Um, if you can spend the extra money just based on what I know about these units, which, you know, I've looked at them greatly. And I don't, I haven't used the Q8 in 4K, um, but obviously I do have the H1 or the Q8. <laughs> yeah, the Q8 <laughs> unit. Um, and looking at the comparison videos it looks like this has a much better sensor and it does go all the way up to 4k it's still not going to be what you get 
with like an M50, a DSLR, mirrorless, or you know, whatever, whatever, a good, really good, like inch sensor. Um, you know, but it's not gonna be earth shattering, is basically what I'm saying. And the other thing is, is that you're not gonna get any type of optical zoom with these cameras. Um, so it does have a little bit of digital zoom, but you know, digital zoom, you're losing more and more resolution um, the more and more you zoom in. Um, digital zoom is bad. Digital zoom bad, okay? <laughs> so let's pop some batteries up in this baby and see what we got going on. Oh, and we want to oh, check for that memory card. Being how well uh, this person kept this camera up. I'm going to guess that this uh, micro is going to be good enough for uh, 4K. And uh, yeah, it looks like it. It's a, <laughs> if you can see it, it's a PNY. A PNY. 64 gigs as advertised. 64 gigs. Um, although, honestly, uh, 64 gigs is good, um, but when you start going up into 4K and beyond resolution, um, that, that, that data size just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I have a, uh, the camera, the Sony Axe 53 that I've got uh, filming the table and everything has a uh, 512 gig in there and I think it gets about four hours per video I mean at full 4k resolution obviously all right first power on we have power oh I meant to look at the firmware that is something that we absolutely have to check um, Okay, that, so the firmware is firmware 1.03, which definitely does mean that we need a firmware update. So, uh, all right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to look up the uh, instructions to update the firmware. And I'll probably do that right here on the uh, video. So this is a pretty straightforward uh, firmware update. You just do the extract all thing and... Uh, and now we extract, we pull it up, let's snap this over here, and then we just take the bin file, copy it on over, we can close this one up, we can close this one up too, and now we can close this one up, because now all we've got to do now is just eject the card and throw it in the camera. All right, so now we'll just cut it on. I'm gonna, do I turn you on? Zoom, zoom, see? 1.03, the current firmware is actually 2.01. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I did this wrong. I was supposed to hold <laughs> the play record button buttons together. It takes a team, is essentially what I'm saying. So. Yes. Oh. They're not above the corresponding buttons. So, you know, shut up. I'm stoned. Complete. That was quick. That was quick. Goodbye. See you. And now when we cut back on, let's see. Let's see about it. There we go. 2.01. Good job, oh dudes. Good job. I'm going to hold this up here because that is uh, one of the disadvantages to um, <laughs> focus in, focus in. Come on, come on. You can do it. There you go. See how low resolution that screen is? But one of the drawbacks to not having a flip-out screen 
is, you know, not being able to see yourself on there. Plus, the microphones are on the front, which is a big thing that we won a game for. This is what we're doing. This is why we get loud, um, you know, when we're doing this, because we're gain staging. So we're trying to talk real loud, and that is way too hot. That is way too hot. And we're gain staging. That is still a little bit too hot. That is still a little bit too hot. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. You call the Ghostbusters and they're in control. And I know if uh, you don't have a history with audio, um, you might be wondering, well, why don't you just record real low and then turn it up in post or whatever? You could do that. You could totally do that. The problem with trying to do that is that you also increase the noise floor. Um, you know, getting in a lot of noise that way. So you want to try to do your gain staging, you know. All right, I think we're going to, I think right about five is probably going to be about our sweet spot. It just got to be ha. I don't think that this thing has a limiter built into it. It does have a low cut filter. So, all right. Let's uh pick our video quality. Uh, okay, there's 72030. Just audio, so you can do audio only recordings for here. That's the one we're going to stick on, the uh, 4K30. But just to show you, there's 4K24, 108060, 108080, 108024, and 730. Boo. 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 All right. We're going to stay right there. And these are the uh, zooms. You're, we're going to have to wait until I actually hook it up to show you um to you know how bad it gets i mean it gets worse the closer and closer you zoom um you're actually much if you really want that digital zoom you're much best that be better to uh do it in post where you can actually clean it up right there and then we got some zoom some uh scene settings tally Oh, I'm looking at the wrong place. Outdoor, sunset, night, concert, light, jazz club, dance club, monochrome, sepia, film, X process, flat. So, all right, we're going to start with flat. And um, while we are uh, to actually have this hooked up and, you know, into the switcher, then we'll start playing with some of those. Um, oh yeah, let's start, leave it on auto for now. And then here's our low cut filter. Ooh. So we got 80 hertz, 120 hertz, 160 hertz, or just off. Usually I don't worry about it, but uh, again, We'll uh, pass that along um, <laughs> as we're testing it, I guess. And then this is important. 24-bit, 96-bit, 16-bit. Oh, okay. They're both 24 bits there on the end. So we got 48 kilohertz, 24-bit, and 96 kilohertz, 42-bit. And we're just going to go ahead with the 96 and get the best quality audio that we can get. You used to want to sometimes want to try to stick around. Uh, well, I mean, if you're doing audio centralized stuff that you might burn to CD, you wanted 16-bit. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, because I don't really miss it. But <laughs> um, you don't have to worry about burning CDs anymore, <laughs> I'm saying. You know, you just extract the audio in post. So there are some options here. Um, play mode, play one. That We will check that one. Obviously, we're going to leave it on instinct, <laughs> instinct and uh, leave the plug-in power and SD format. 
you know, because uh, we don't want to format the card. Um, play mode, play one, play all, play one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. that. Um, well, let's look at the beat. We'll leave it right there. Okay, so one last time, the Zoom Q8 before we replace it with the Zoom Q2N 4K. <laughs> I sit here and memorize these fucking numbers, or at least I try to. Um, <laughs> and I forgot to mention earlier, we're recording audio right now with the Zoom H6. So neither this one nor the one we're about to hook up, I can already tell you right now, is not going to be good, good the way that this is on the H6 because I've got the, uh, was it the uh, H6 or the H6S or whatever, you know, the egg or the X H, <laughs> the H6XY, whatever, you know, the rotatable. XY mics for the Zoom H6, the little capsule thingy thing. The Q8 uses those too, but um, as you can hear right here, um, the H6 microphones are so much better than this right now. We're, now we're listening to the microphones from the Q8. And the Q8, it didn't used to be this noisy. Um, and I didn't notice it until we did that last video about the microphones. Um, but, you know, it's this is the included microphone from this camera. So I could swap on one of the other capsules, but, um, you know, this camera's about out the door anyway. Well, not really, but, you know. Apparently, we can't output audio in 96 kilohertz through the HDMI connection, so we're going to have to go through that, this whole thing over again, but <laughs> let's do it. So here's our zooms. Here's our zoom zooms. And I do not have this up on any uh, foam to isolate it. I'm sorry, baby. Um, and here's our different picture modes. Sorry. I can't read them out to you as we're going through them, but um, spoiler alert, the dance club is my favorite one. Um, I mean, the auto, auto, excuse me. The dance club is my second favorite, but the auto is honestly the best. See, I can, uh, I can tell just by looking at it, that's the auto. And I'm going to double check that. Sure enough, that's the auto. You know, it's that clear. I can see it. Placement of the gain stage wheel is um, highly inconvenient because anytime you're reaching around there, you know, it's real easy. I've done it several times just now, just flipping that wheel, flipping that wheel around. Anyway, um, I think this is our gain our uh, low pass settings to filter out that background noise a little bit i can't even tell so forgive me my bat the batteries died um again this thing is has a reputation for eating up them double a's like you know ain't nobody's days whatever whatever but they were probably also partially used before being sent to me so you know that's to be expected and whatever. So we got three uh, low pass settings right now. This is off. This is, I believe, at 80 hertz. And this is like 120 hertz, I think. Or is it 160 hertz? Something like that. Anyway, and then back off again. I don't hear much of a difference, honestly, in my goody goods. But, uh... You know, it's it sounds fine. I can hear the air conditioner on all three settings, though. <laughs> you know, so um, if I wanted to get rid of the air conditioning, I'd either have to really shut the door or do it in post. And again, what we talked about in that previous video, um, the more you can do before you go to post, the better. 
um, you're going to get a much better low pass filter in DaVinci or whatever software you're using, I'm just saying. Now, I think what we're going to do in um, this, uh, you, this micro cable that I dug up is, uh, hey, Bendy, <laughs> is, um, doesn't have much slack. Not much, not much slack. So, uh, let's see, where is the, uh, oh, we left it on 120 hertz. Okay, off 80 hertz, 120 hertz. Okay, we had set three. So this is 160 hertz. Off 80 hertz, 120 hertz, 160 hertz. Like I said, I don't hear much of a difference through any of them. But all right, so the middle button is record. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording right here. And um, here in a second, I'm going to clap and then I'm going to record for a minute on this and then, yeah. So obviously right now, I can't tell, um, you know, how much, if any, well, it should look a little bit different because, um, you know, I can't tell that right now because I have to monitor it through the switcher. Um, but <clears throat> this is 1080p. This is 1080p because it's going from HDMI into my switcher. And I completely forgot to mention that. But um, we're not testing the webcam feature because, um, honestly, if you want my advice, if you want to use this as a webcam and you can't afford something like an ATEM Mini or an ATEM ISO or, you know, um, well, ATEM Mini ISO, whatever, whatever, I'm just saying, um, instead of using the webcam feature on this, buy a capture card to connect to the computer because Recording through this, you're going to be limited, I, but I do believe, to 720p no matter how you go. And you're just going to get much better results connecting this from the HDMI into a capture card. Um, you just are. So here we are in the 4K. And the Zoom Q2N. 4K. How's that, Bay? You know, again... The quality of audio that you're going to get through this is going to be a lot better than you're going to get on the standard microphones for any camera. Um, the audio on here is way, way better than the audio I was getting from the Zoom Q8, um, through, at least through the uh, capsule that came with the camera. The... Uh, you know, I, the reason I don't bother to put another one of the capsules on there is just because the only time I ever use the audio from that camera now is for, um, you know, just testing purposes to demonstrate. Um, but, or as a backup sometimes, rarely, but there was always a little bit of latency with the Q8 that I'm not getting here. Um, I could not monitor my own voice through the headphones using the Q8 and running the HDMI audio from it because that little bit of a latency is just enough to give you that echo effect, um, not the good kind of sounding echo, the kind that when you're trying to talk, just to slows you down and throws you off like, oh, but, 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 uh, what? What? But this one, I, you know, you see me right here. I'm monitoring myself in the headphones right now, and it sounds fine. And, you know, I, you know, I'm pretty confident enough to say, we'll see how the recorded video plays back. But that's how the Q8 went, too, in that the uh, recorded video is always better than what you're streaming through the HDMI, um, especially when we're getting into 4K recording from here. Now, I keep in mind, too, that the sensor on this camera is probably, you know, like, um, what is it, like a quarter inch sensor or something, you know, so it's not a spectacular sensor, but it's a big step up from the one on the uh, Q8. And to be fair, 
the sensors on mo on your camera phones and stuff like that are teeny tiny too. Um, but you know, so, but you're not going to get spectacular video that you're going to get with, you know, yeah, an M50, even a old old ass T3i. Um, but you know, the quality of this audio that you're getting along with the quality of the video that you're getting for the price, you know, honestly, I don't think it can be topped. You know, I may, I, that's why I was so confident in making this camera as a low end recommendation um, in that video because dealing with the Zoom audio recorders, uh, that I've dealt with, everything has been fantastic within its price range. Um, and even some of the other stuff, there are Zoom products I've tried that I didn't care for. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their uh, guitar effects, at least not their electric guitar effects. Um, I think their distortions and stuff are a bit off and generic sounding, I guess. <clears throat> but um, I also have used, uh, what was it, the uh, old uh, R16 and the R20 multi-track recorders. They were basically little standalone multi-track units that you used the SD card for and recorded your multi-track audio and overdubs and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Was that a bug? But, you know, I mean, I have yet to experience a really bad, other than the noisiness that has popped up with my Q8 recently or these two videos, whatever. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's the HDMI cable or um, something adding noise to it. I, I don't know. Um, but it didn't used to do that. But I've had that camera for several years. Um or I've had it, you know, I mean, not long after the Q, original Q8 actually came out was when I bought it. So, you know, that camera's been with me a minute. Um, and there is a new version of the Q8 too, the Q8 in 4K, um, which just came out, I think, like a couple months ago or something like that. And it looks amazing for the price, again. For the price, a huge step up from the Q8, and still uses the interchangeable capsules, and still has the XLR inputs and all of that stuff. But it's uh, you know, the upgraded sensor and everything like this one has up to a full 4K resolution um, instead of being well. I think the Q8 had like um, 2K resolution that you could use and it was a little bit better than the 1080p but not a whole lot uh, you know so I'm looking for this to be a lot better than and I mean already just through the 1080p signal into the switcher I think that this picture already looks a lot better than that Q8 looked we'll see it I guess side by side from this the earlier part of this video because you know I was in there Standing in my underwear, like you even care. And I completely forgot about doing this test. So, you know, go ahead and zoom in on my face in post, you know. We're recording internally, once again, to the micro SD card on the uh, Zoom Q2 Info K. So, okay, you know, we want to see how this picture looked today. When... We cropped in, zoomed in, whatever you want to call it. Don't call it an alcoholic. Maybe call it a Steve. I don't know. God, Steve. Zoom me in, crop me around, and put me in front of my thumbnails and see how we do. Doody do. Do I got to do a dance for yous? Ooh, shake that booty. <laughs> shake them pancakes, mama. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb.
greetings from the future. It's like the next day, and I just remembered that I forgot to record anything musical on for a camera microphone system that was designed specifically for music audio purposes and musicians, guitar players, you know, bands, whatever, whatever. Um, and I didn't do any of that, so... <laughs> I'm dabbed out, don't know what to do, so I'm just going to strum around for a minute, and, you know. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Not like that. Psych. It's Dave Matthews. That was all right, except for that little, you know, fuck up right there. But, <coughs> and if you're a true <laughs> Tummy G classic, for like a true Tummy G fan or whatever. <laughs> See, I can't even fucking play anymore nowadays, you know.
<laughs> Come on, I was like 16 or something when I wrote that shit. <laughs> I'll pick something out of there, I suppose. That sublime shit. Early in the morning, rising to the street. I, <laughs> like me, a cigarette now straps you so my Skibbity. Skibbity. Can't do find a reason. Reason things went wrong. I'm, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. <laughs> so that's how it be, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little product view, review. I hate to call this a review, but, you know, a little showing off, a little demo dim, checking it out, keeping it simple or whatever. Pop that pimple. Don't squeeze my dimple. I mean, unless you want to. Uh, go ahead. I don't really have dimples, but, you know, you squeeze it. You squeeze my little puffy cheeks if you have to. I love you. Always have. So to give credit, the eBay seller that I bought this from is uh, Joe Cool. That's J-O-E-C-O-O-L. Joe Cool 427. You know, just seven points over, but, you know, um, I just want to give him a shout out because, um, you know, buying this camera thus far has been a good experience. It's been a good experience. You know, all the original, everything came with it down to the foam, protective foam and stuff and um, had the lens cap already attached on the little lanyard, had the 64 gig micro SD, the lens hood, everything's in good condition. This camera has been well taken care of quite clearly. 
I appreciate you, dude. I fucking appreciate you. And remember my philosophy on self-improvement? You don't have to be the best at anything. You can't be the best at everything. But you can always be a little bit better than you were the day before. I'm saying take your time one thing at a time. You know? And stick with the plan, man. Cheers. I like it. I like it a lot. Mmm, this is the, by the way, this is the cheese, too, from Greenleaf <clears throat> in Richmond, Virginia. Mmm, medical gravy, baby. Hi, right, you dudes. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Watch out for the mail. Because we don't actually have it in hand yet. I'm going ahead and taking the dab now. And then I'm waiting for the mail to deliver the camera. It's weird. I'm weird. Shut up. <clears throat> Alright, start off with me down in the corner. Down in the corner. This corner right here. Put me in the corner and give me a root beer. Action. <laughs> and meow. meow. Hello, guy. Meow. Hear them computer fans going in the back. Run, fan, run. My fans are all running away. <laughs> Mr. P's over here like, what? <laughs> Say that again. Say it again. All right. I believe you. I'm sorry. I got you all dirty, Poppy. I am so sorry, baby. I am sorry, Poppy. I am truly sorry. Poppy would be pissed. 100, 100. Poppy would be pissed. Anyway, 